This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, today I've got the John Deere 915 subsoiler. Now this particular mod comes in two different sizes. Now right now we are looking at the larger version. And then we've got the smaller version. I think these are 9 and 11 meters, uh, respectively. I'm not not quite sure we'll have to check that in the shop but you can see this thing is built heavy look at these heavy heavy hitches steel square beam here all of this is built heavy duty tearing up the soil that is for sure let's take a look at these in the shop and then we'll take a look at them in the field in operation so this mod can be found over at nexus mods we'll leave a link in the description below nexus mods does require you to sign up in order to download a mods uh, you can sign up for free if you don't have an account over there when you go to register your account ignore all of the check boxes on the left about giving money go all the way to the bottom and click create account it will let you go ahead and do that you do not have to give them any money whatsoever in order to count so under tools and subsoilers Scroll all the way over here. We have the John Deere 915 V Ripper 11, which is, I'm sorry, 18.2 meters, not 11 meters. And then we've got the John Deere 915 V Ripper 9, which is 6.8 meters. Both of these operate at 8 miles per hour. Now, they have some pretty steep horsepower requirements. Uh, the V Ripper 11 has 420 horsepower. And the V Ripper 9 has 350 horsepower. There are no configuration options on either of these. Uh, they are pretty sweet. Now, one thing to note, these do not fold. These are pretty wide when you take them down the road. Especially this model right here. If you're on a map with traffic and you don't have an escape route when you've got oncoming vehicles... Well, you might find yourself running into a little bit of a problem. Go over here and jump in. 8RT. And let's hook up to the big 915 variant. So we do have dynamic hoses hook up, but we cannot collapse. We cannot fold this in any way. It does uh, does pose a problem. Oh, happened there. It does pose a bit of a that is does pose a bit of a problem when it comes to traffic. Let's go ahead and just drop this thing down here. Now this is interesting in the subsoil section goes down here it does say cultivator here at the bottom but you'll notice when I drop it we are leaving a plowed texture behind us see what field we're working in we're working here in 13 13 not this is plowed Field 6 needs plowed. Let's just jump over here to field 6 and see how that works. See if our need plow state is getting removed. It should because we also have the ability to create fields. See, we can hit Y to create fields. We can drop her down here. And we are now creating up a field. So it should clear the need plow function. Or the need plow state. Go ahead and just hire help. What we're going to do is we're going to jump up here to the other. 
John Deere 8R. Right here set up with duels and we're going to use it on the smaller version. It also can do the create fields. And again, this one does not fold, so it will be uh, it will be leaving or it will be rather wide when you are going down the road. Didn't hire help. See that thing just drop down there and off it goes. And this is the John Deere 915. V Ripper comes in two models, a 9 and 11. I don't know if that's supposed to represent 9 feet and 11 feet uh, because they are both not quite. This one's 6.8 meters and this one is 8.2 meters. Go ahead and see. We are clearing the need plow state. There you go. Even though they are in the subsoiler section. They are basically doing the plow function and have the ability to create fields. So guys, let me know what you think of this mod by leaving a comment. Click the like button if you like it. Click the uh, thumbs down button if you don't. It's all fine and dandy with me. Doesn't matter. But until next time, guys. Happy farming.